Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Red Citadel. Whatever that is, there's towers cropping off everywhere. Honestly, what's with all these building developments? Back in the day, my backyard was my backyard, and there were none of these people moving in. Oh well, let's see what they have to say for themselves. Red Citadel is the newest of the towers? I am honestly haven't been abreast of the building developments, but immediately, and very excitingly, I feel, there's blue sky outside. And that's just kind of nice. This is kind of optimistic. It's very sweet. It it works well. It, it makes me happy. And, you know, I'm glad for that. And there's a peach, and, you know, that, that doesn't necessarily make me as happy. It's, it's just kind of a, a very neutral feeling that I feel as regards that. But a victory. Good. That's the first of our red enemies. And while things are still relatively easy, I think we'll move to our slot of speed and quickness. Let's see if we can do some speed and quickness in these levels. Right. Maglev. Boom. Activate you. Get you out. The monies is not enough for an ape helmet, but it is now. Doesn't even matter. We've won. 100,000 XP. Decently healthy. But when you're at the late game with lots of XP, it's kind of all a bit meaningless anyway. But, you know, it's nice. Oh, sl <laughs> slug jockey. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, how sweet. Got a sniper the cat there. Always helpful. Probably very helpful, actually, for uh, running through this in the beginner account. Getting a little sniper. I'm always in need of them. Manic Lion, Maglev, and now we have the... I don't know. Is this autumn equals sports day? Maybe? I, I, I kind of feel like it might be. 250,000 XP. We're doling out the cash here. Thank you, Battle Cats. Okay. Maglev, and now a Dark Emperor Nyandam. You know, I, I do actually really like this. It's kind of rolling through all these different red enemies that, you know, you, you might well not have seen in a while. I mean, I keep seeing Nyandam crop up, you know, checking in on what people have to say on the Moon 2 guide. He's always in me memories and my thoughts, but I don't know, perhaps not quite there. Much like the Shy Boy was just there, but it, it didn't really have much of a chance to make an impact. Good, I guess, because we're on to floor six. I didn't actually look at the total number of stages. That'll be interesting to find out. As is this, we've got a slug jockey and the one variant thing. What has, like, you know, the, the nice hat. Anyway, it's gone now. 400,000 XP. We're loving it. We're rolling in cash. Very nice. Okay, we've got Christmas Nyandam this time. All righty. Maglev getting us a little bit of cash. I'm tempted to just kind of wait for a Bahama. This could end up very badly because Christmas Nyandam does attack very quickly. And so, well, that might happen. And it probably ultimately doesn't have much health anyway. But it's been dealt with. That is, I guess, one way of doing it. We also have a nice, big, low-resolution Peach, so hello to you and in your hat, but goodbye to you in your hat, because we've won again. Let's move on to 4-8. And because I love you so much, a leadership as well. Maglev, snatch. Lots of rolly fast things. Oh, a JK Bun Bun. Okay, this is going to be a bit interesting. I'll also be very intrigued to see how I fare against this beginner account wise this might be a little bit more of a challenge to maintain ourselves with this fast slot i'm gonna bring out loads of manica razors they should stall pretty well bun bun's fairly easy to stall we've got loads of monies from that seal so we can send a bahama in now and yeah it's it's not too strong i think we're gonna be absolutely fine we'll just spam the spammable stuff that we can spam keep going go vroom 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 nice and quick and we'll be laughing haha <laughs> as they apparently say. Okay, so developments have gone a little bit sideways. The JK Bun Bun is making back space on the battlefield, and although we've just got a little bit of monies, I feel like they're going to sink away again if, well, <laughs> that doesn't happen. Okay, yeah, so I shouldn't really be struggling here, and I'm not really struggling here, but after floor 8, I might perhaps move back to the original slot. 750,000 XP! Oh! Very nice rewards, very nice. I do wonder if it's just a first time thing, although everything resets, so I guess you get it every time, right? Seems like a pretty good deal. Floor nine. Oh, okay. Right, good job we switched up. It's it's suddenly no continues. The sky outside from a, a lovely bright blue now feels threateningly disingenuous. The blue sky is belying a truth of no continues scariness. But what will be behind that? Well, Jizo will first of all help us to get a little bit of cash to build up some shenanigans to find out. And those snatches, they bite hard. They always do. Let's clear them out, get to the base with our Peach Devils that are just pretty good for this kind of thing. And oh, 
Oh my god. I must have seen that before, but it's a massive, thankfully, my god, good resolution otter who's got a stamp and he's like marking us wrong? I feel like he might be in like the return of teaching event stage or something like that. I really can't remember, but there we are. I think we're managing ourselves just fine despite being frozen across the board. To counteract that, I might bring in Cyberpunk. It will take a while to get there, but it should stand outside of the usable freezy range of otters. And we can get another Peach Devils, which should definitely help to clear them out. I think we've cleared out one of them as well. It's only a matter of time now. We've got some Cappies introduced. Things are getting a little bit serious and exciting. And there's Cyberpunk paying its dues. I'm not sure it really hit what I wanted it to. It probably hit something that was then promptly killed. But we've frozen the otter and poof! Dealt with it. There we go. Nice. Gone. Sorted. Oh, top floor. Huh. That's interesting. You know what? I really like this. It's like a Heavenly Tower rush edition. The Heavenly Tower is now so massive. I know there's now checkpoints on the Heavenly Tower, but there is a kind of certain magic in climbing forcefully all your way up through all of the floors. But this one, a nice quick voom straight up the tower and it's different. I just really like the little variation. It keeps the consistency of the theme and makes things interesting. And so I imagine with the markup in difficulty of floor nine, top floor might be quite challenging. We're just gonna do a scouting go. I call it as such as this strategy is not, you know, particularly anti-red. It's supposed to be anti-anything, but we'll use what we find in here to evaluate what our strategy should be. And for the first time today, I'm going to pay attention to making sure that my worker cat is adequately upgraded. Yes, that's right, he's bringing in what some people call strategy. Okay, so I guess our first relatively big enemy is the low resolution Pige. I can't remember whether this is one of the Elizabeth family. I presume it is, but I prefer the vitriol of low resolution Pige. It is soon to be joined by a squelchy, slithery slug jockey that, to be honest, we always love to see. And I'm going to regulate them with cyberpunk. Hopefully this is a nice, slow, but, you know, assured way of regulating them that will allow me to get my work cat up to max and fight whatever exciting boss shenanigans do come out of the base. We're at level 7. Another slug jockey joins us. Just going to get a Jizo to hopefully do some damage, make sure that even if we can't move them back, the red snatches are not moving us forward. And we're nearly there with the worker cat. Absolutely fantastic. So that's going to allow us to build up a little bit more stuff, maybe a few more Jizos into our stack because we only need now really to push forward. The monies that we get from this stuff should help us move towards max monies. So I'm gonna start bringing out some of the slower Ubers perhaps. Shadow Gao as well. Not sure how much use that's gonna be in a red only level, but it's fine. And oh, probably not gonna be able to afford everything. So we'll just get Peach Devils along for the ride because this is very definitely our big boy, anti-red. Okay, I think I've seen you before as well, but I can't remember where from. And to be honest, I love the nostalgia, but this thing, yeah. It's massive, and any opportunity we have to freeze it is going to be good, so we love that, Peach Devils. We've also got a lovely bit of tankiness from our AV unit, which I appreciate. Only two meat shields might not be great, but between freezing and a not particularly fast rate of attack, I think we're actually going to be perfectly alright as we are dealing with this smug man. Raman's fairly tanky, obviously not pitched towards red enemies, but it can provide the health we need in most situations, along with two nice buff meat shields and another Peach Devils, amongst the other things that we have, including a very helpful backline cyberpunk. This is clearly a chunky man with a hoorah, hooray, teacher bear in its arms, but what it isn't is the kind of thing that will overwhelm and stop us because we've beaten it. So this is kind of like a, a not too much effort kind of thing that Ponos have produced for us and it's a fun little rush stage and it's something else to do and thank God it's not waiting half an hour between going on each stage. So thumbs up from me, I've enjoyed that. As quick as it was there, it disappears and the same perhaps can be said for me. I will bid you goodbye and I hope you enjoyed.